A developing story there, and shifting our focus a bit to the Middle East now. Iraq is also experiencing a wave of attacks from insurgents this past week, as the government is struggling to hold control of the country. Paul, so where is the concentration of the most recent finding? Well, hundreds of gunmen have overrun Iraq's second largest city of Mosul in the north of the country, seizing provincial government buildings and other key facilities. The major offensive began late last night, following days of deadly bombings across the country. Iraqi police and army troops were forced to retreat as the militant forces fought back with rocket-propelled grenades, sniper rifles, and machine guns. They were also able to take control of a nearby airport, TV stations, and a high-security prison, where some 1,000 inmates were reportedly freed. No one has so far claimed responsibility, but the fighters are suspected to be part of an al-Qaeda splinter group called the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant. The Iraqi government in Baghdad says the city has been lost to terrorists and is requesting military reinforcements. According to Radio Free Europe and Radio Liberty, there was also heavy fighting across Iraq's western Anbar province over the weekend. Militants also stormed a university campus in the provincial capital of Ramadi, taking hundreds of students and their professors hostage. Recent figures from the United Nations show almost 800 Iraqis, including over 600 civilians, were killed in violent attacks last month. I see. Now